came to see me. They came to fuck with me. You know, a lot of players, you know, they knew I was boss up. You know what I'm saying? They see me in D.C. They see me in New York on 11th Avenue. They see me in D.C. on M Street or uh, on uh, 7th Street, New York Avenue or Indy School, Van Buren, Bessonette, you know, Harry Hines, you know, wherever it was a track, that's where I got famous at. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. You got me some real money. Then I bought me a Cadillac. About this, I got out of jail. Uh, I think this was a few years after I jail. This about '93. Yeah, I bought a '91 Fleetwood. They were bad. So, they were bad. Two, but, that was their photo. Yeah, and I had to go. What color I, was it? It was a uh, blue with gold dates. I had to, in the gold package. I had hundred spokes on it. Ooh, that was a bad and boy, then man. The next Cadillac I bought was the Fleetwood. I bought the brand in the year of. Uh, uh, I ended up flipping that one, and I bought, you know, I think it was 93, I bought the 93 fleet with a white, and then uh, I went from that to nothing but business. You used to put them on the highway, didn't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you know, had to put them on the highway. I was, I was in the game, so, yeah. you know, you had to go. You got to go. State to state, right? Yeah. I ain't giving you the full story. There's a lot of stuff <laughs> going on in between that, right? I know. I already know. So uh, I bought the turquoise bins, and then I bought the gray 600 bins, and then I just started buying foreign from there. Uh, Maserati, Rolls Royces, Bentleys, and shit, you know. Because at first, the, the form wasn't so what it was. It was, it was the Cadillac school. first, though, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It was I, the Cadillac first. But I never really did the old school. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, I, I wasn't really into old schools. I was always, I liked the new, new shit. You the know? new ones, yeah. And I never wore the, you know, I ain't do the Huggy Bear. I ain't do the goldfish in the shoes. No, 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 no. The big stacks and the funny hats, you know. Yeah, I didn't yeah. do all that. So I, I wore Monty Suits, Gucci, you know. If you look at, even if you look at pimps up holes down, that suit that was a Versace suit, and those buttons yeah. was twenty four karat gold. I had them custom made. They was uh, the suit suit itself was about three four thousand, but the buttons there that shit was about ten thousand. You know, so I was always exclusive. You know, if you look at pimps up holes down, you see all my minks was custom, all my clothes was custom. You know, I didn't I didn't want to dress like nobody. But bring me down through that on pimps up holes down. Just give me the spiel on like the process of of them coming to you because you're a businessman. Well, uh, you're a business so, man. Yeah, now. That's, that, that's exactly what happened. I, I handled some business. So I'm, I'm in Chicago and I see these people with all these cameras, like similar to what you got going on. And I'm like, man, what the fuck is this shit? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm like, who are these niggas, man? This the fans, you know what I'm saying? What's happening with this shit, man? You know what I mean? I'm asking Bishop and everybody. They said, that's HBO. So they kept hmm. filming me. So I started talking real slick. And the dude, Brent Owen, said, man, I want to I wanna do business with you. I said, uh, I said, who you do business with now? He said, I do business with I said, well, if you want to do business with me, come to Milwaukee. So, <laughs> so I took him over from, away from Chicago because I knew I could help do business with them. I had to separate him from them yeah. in order to bo- do what I wanted to do. So when he came, I took him to my clothing store. Uh, I asked him for a, 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 a substantial amount of money, which he agreed. I asked him to uh, end the movie with me, which he agreed. I asked for credits in the movie, which he agreed. And I also asked for... Uh, you know, the movie to be mainly shot, you know, where I want it to be shot. So a lot of the scenes in there, you know, we see the players ball, all that. That's Milwaukee when they walking up to the, you know, all the people walking and that's our hometown. Wow. So it was really to put my city on the map and uh, get them out there like that. So I began to, you know, uh, do a lot of scenes. That that bar where I was talking to the girl, that's my daddy's bar. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So we did it in my daddy's bar, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, a lot of my friends, you know, that was in there with people yeah, that I personally of, knew. You know what I'm saying? So we kind of made it to a Milwaukee thing. I think it kind of upset a lot of my brothers in Chicago. But I'm from Chicago, so, but, you know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm a Milwaukee dude. You know, when, when, when you know, you, you talk about Milwaukee, I am Milwaukee. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, with or without, even when I was in prison, I didn't say I was from Chicago. Even though I, was, I said I'm from Milwaukee. You know, when I go across country, I didn't say I was from Chicago. I said I'm from Milwaukee. You know, I always said Milwaukee, Milwaukee, Milwaukee because I had a, a, a insatiable appetite to put Milwaukee on the on map. map. So that's why I wanted to put my city on the map. And, you know, Chicago had a bishop. So, you know, they didn't need no bishop yeah. in Milwaukee. They needed a Ken Ivy or Pippin Ken. And so that's what I gave them. You know, I put on for the city and, you know, I brought the biggest parties there. You know, we had the biggest players from all over the world come to the, to the mill, just like on the Mac. That's yeah, how it yeah, was in my yeah, city. Yeah. And, you know, they came to see me. They came to fuck with me. You know, a lot of players, you know, they knew I was boss up, you know what I'm saying? They see me in D.C., they see me in New York on 11th Avenue, they see me in D.C. on M Street, or uh, on uh, 7th Street, New York Avenue, or Indy School, Van Buren, 
best in that, you know, Harry Hines, you know, wherever it was a track, that's where I got famous at. You know, so wow. a lot of them dudes, you know, they would come to the, to the town and they were like, what key in that? You know, because they know I'm pulling the business out. I'm pulling, you know, it's going to be four or five pretty women in the car. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm going to have my gaiters on, my suits on. Clean. I'm going to be in pimp mode. I stayed in pimp mode and I did it in 50 zip codes. You know what I'm ooh, saying? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.